Hello, I'm Lynette, the City of Mount Gambier Mayor, and with me this morning is our CEO, Andrew Meddle. First of all, we'd like to thank you for your positive feedback on last month's video of the council meeting outcome and thank you for embracing this. And it seems to be something that um, our residents are enjoying and so we'll continue to do this for you um, after each council meeting. So last night, Tuesday, 16th of July, we had another productive council meeting and uh, with all elected members present, which was great. and. Uh, and some robust discussion. Yes. There were several issues on the agenda that we thought we uh, might share with you this morning. And the first item on the agenda was a deputation from the Limestone Coast Protection Alliance Chair, Marilyn Paxton. And uh, this was in relation to oil and gas exploration in our region. So it was a very informative presentation for our elected members. and. Um, we will now consider that, uh, that presentation and the contents at our next council meeting. Another item that I'm, I'm sure the community would be pleased to hear about is um, the New Year's Eve um, event that has been held for some years now in Mount Gambier. And uh, council decided last night that we would be happy to support the event again. It's a new committee that is taking over the event and we've decided to provide $10,000 in cash and $5,000 in-kind support to assist them in um, providing another successful event. Uh, Council sees this event as important, uh, not only for our community and the Limestone Coast, but also for the many visitors that are in Mount Gambier over the holiday period. Absolutely, yep, yeah. So another, another of our um Facilities which are well used by visitors passing through the region as well as residents is our Blue Lake uh, Golf Links and we discussed last night some uh, key performance indicators for um, for them. Uh, that's on the back of a, lease, a recent uh, lease uh, adjustment where um, the Queen Elizabeth Park Trust has um, handed back its uh, arrangement with Council and we're now dealing uh, with the Golf Links Direct. So we're setting up some key performance indicators uh, working with the golf club around some uh, measurables to help improve participation, to improve um, their financial position uh, and to ensure that there's good governance um, uh, over uh, council land, which is an important council and community facility. So we'll be working with um, the Blue Links Golf Club um, committee going forward to try and agree those KPIs uh, and ensure that we've got a, a set that's workable for both the club and for the council. That's right, and uh, giving them you know, the every, every opportunity for success. Yes, absolutely. And uh, another agenda item um, I would like to talk about today, and it's one that a lot of our community may not um, know about, and that's the Junior Sports Assistance Fund. Now this fund um, was created to provide financial assistance for junior sports people in our community who've achieved state level in competition and, all, and then are playing at national level and uh, who without some assistance may not be able to participate. So um, Council were really happy to um, provide, uh, endorse assistance um, for some more junior sports people and, um, and if people wish to find out more about this, they can hop onto the council website and they'll see um, a Junior Sports Assistance Fund there and they'll be able to see the terms of reference and they can see if it might be applicable to somebody um, that they know that might need uh, some help. So this fund is another example of you know, a smaller contribution that we make to our community, but nonetheless an important one. Yeah, it's a, a clear example of um us recycling rates back into um, opportunity for our community. So um, yeah, it's a really good um, thing for people to explore with us. And yeah, please make contact with us whether whether you're you're sure you've got a chance or whether you'd like to explore whether you've got the chance. So yeah, make contact with us and, and we'll help you through the process. A link to that um, on uh, a sports and rec. Uh, op opportunity front, we have been pushing forward with our work around the community and recreation hub. Um, so you, you may have seen and heard um, the uh, discussion debate around the naming for the new facility and that, um, that process is still open. Uh, we started with a month and got some really good suggestions. No suggestions have been rejected uh, and we're really looking for a larger number of um, 
uh, suggestions from our community so that we can shortlist those down uh, and then come back out and seek your uh, opinions on that. Um, we also had um, a series of questions that were asked by a councillor last night that were intended to um, be discussed in confidence. Um, that, that sort of approach is, um, is not really black and white, it's um, uh, shades of grey and uh, the council administration had a, quite a conservative view on that. Uh, elected members uh, considered our advice but decided that um, those matters should be released from confidence and we'll be making arrangements for those uh, questions and the answers to them to be made uh, available uh, as part of the uh, minutes to the council agenda. Um, we'll uh, also um, be working through the finer detail regarding the community and rec hub and um, we'll be having another community and reference group meeting uh, on uh, Monday night uh, to try and iron out some of the final details so that we're ready to go to tender uh, and secure a head contractor mm -hmm. um, through a process commencing in September uh, this year. Yes, it will be exciting when we get to um, the building stage. <laughs> if you'd like to know more about uh, council activities, do go to our website where you'll see agendas and minutes of all of our meetings and a whole host of other information. It's an easy to navigate website and also another reminder that the council meetings are held on the third Tuesday of the month in uh, the council chambers in the Civic Centre and the public are more than welcome to join us in the gallery. So thank you again for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.